Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell, and today we have a huge Switch Homebrew story to cover, one that will take Homebrew on the Switch to the next level. This is Brewing News. G2A offers discounted game keys for pretty much any game available. Head over to jacksorrell.tv slash G2A and pick up a deal on the latest games and software. I'll leave the link to G2A down below as well, but now onto the video. I know what you're thinking, Homebrew is such a hassle right now. I mean, every time your console enters sleep mode, you have to plug it into your PC and reinstall the firmware. No one wants to carry a big laptop around and reinstall Homebrew every 20 minutes just to mess around with some Homebrew apps. You have been able to reinstall Homebrew on the go using an Android device but it's still a huge hassle and it doesn't work on iPhones or iPads. And if you lose that paperclip, which is used to boot into RCM mode, you're out of luck. So yeah, homebrew on the Switch is very annoying right now, but that's all about to change. A few months ago, in Brew News Episode 3, we covered Team Executor's announcement on its upcoming hard mod. We all thought that they were talking about the paperclip method, but it turns out that this was only one stage in the planned hard mod release. They've now announced the new all-in-one Swatch exploiting kit dubbed the SX Pro. This hard mod is similar to the current method of accessing Homebrew, but with SX Pro, you can reinstall Homebrew on the go and it has many powerful features which haven't been seen before. Let's take a look at Team Executor's demo video and I'll try to explain what we're looking at. I have Team Executor's channel linked down below if you want to keep up to date with the upcoming hard mods as well as a link to the Brew News page on my website. Here we can see that the paperclip or jig is still required for the initial setup and that the main hard mod unit is plugged into the USB-C port on the Switch. He then boots the switch into RCM mode and the included software automatically injects the payload containing the exploit. And instead of the switch beginning to boot normally, it enters what seems to be a menu running low level privileges. And I mean low level as in it has lots of control over the switch at this point. Next, he activates an auto RCM option. This lets you boot into RCM mode without the paperclip, but you'll still need to have the SX Pro plugged in. This will be extremely handy. You can boot into the custom firmware at record breaking speeds. No messing around with computers or cables, just plug in the hard mod and it boots into the custom firmware. He also shows that you can remove the hard mod after the firmware is loaded. This was the case for the current exploit but it's good to know that this applies here too. The Switch finishes booting up and Homebrew is now available in the album app. But instead of the Switch homebrew menu loading, we see this interface. But where's the homebrew menu and what can this software actually do? Well, this software called SXOS is actually capable of loading games that were not downloaded from the eShop or inserted into the cartridge slot. With this, you'll be able to play your game backups on your Switch. It seems to be the same concept as the USB Loader GX on the Wii but this is for the Switch and will most likely install the games to the micro SD card. This is great news, lots of people have been asking about this and it's finally confirmed to be possible, even working on firmware 5.1.0. This hard mod is coming very soon and I'll be sure to have a setup and installation guide on my channel as soon as it arrives. One thing that's going to happen if we like it or not is the abuse of this software to run pirated games. It's not my place to tell you what you can and can't do, but just be careful playing games that you have downloaded as they may be able to have you banned. Anyway, this is an amazing breakthrough. The SX Pro is going to be a huge step forward for devs, the homebrew community and users alike. Oh, and this hard mod also lets you load the homebrew menu, but if you ask me, SXOS is a bit more interesting at the moment. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.